useful player to have in the side. You always know that he'll do his fair share of work. His closing down is very effective as well. And that's a, oh, a good header by uh, Ian Arnold. And it's in. Oh, what a start. And that's Giorgio Garni. And everybody pleased for him. That's a lovely start. Everybody pleased for George. Well, the free kick came in from Paul Proudlock. It was flicked to the near post by Ian Arnold. The goalkeeper fumbled it. And Giorgio Garni, like a quick as a flash, thumped that ball into the roof of the net. And that's a tremendous start after three and a half minutes. And the reaction of the players spoke volumes there as everybody went to George to say well done and I think that was relief all round smashing ball looking for Ian Arnold there's certainly about four midfield players swamping round for the ball there and that uh, and again Derek Walsh in like a tiger trying to close his man down but, uh, certainly isn't giving uh, uh, Lennon any chance at all but there's a chance uh, snapshot there uh, by Clarkson but uh, the ball falling to ha Harvey and Harvey again with a left footed cross and there's a chance here for Crew, and that uh, has got to be an equaliser. 1-1, one, one, and it looks like the, uh, the number 11, uh, it was Andy Lyon that scored the goal. Certainly, uh, it was the, the number 7 on the far side uh, that did well to get the cross in, and then uh, it was uh, the uh, number 11, Andy Lyon, that finished off. Crew, crew, of course, doing well in the in the FA Cup, but that's good play by Simon Davy. Ian Arnold back to Ogani, left foot shot. Again, confidence there with George this time, not afraid to shoot, and uh, it was on uh, and offside. There was a lovely story came out uh, at the last home match. I was I was talking to um, Ian Dalziel's mother, uh, and Ian's on the ball now. Uh, she was actually sitting next to a reporter in the grandstand at Preston when he was playing with Derby, and the reporter was actually. Uh, having a go at Ian, calling him uh, a dirty player. Uh, and Ian's mother actually stood up and had a go at the reporter. Well, that looked to be, certainly, again, we've got retaliation. It was the uh, number nine, Ashley Ward, uh, and I think it was on Simon Davy. Um, off, 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 shout the crowd, but uh, I don't know. Uh, and it is, red card. Red card for Ashley Ward. Any comments on that, Andy? I think, really, to be honest, I've got to look. I've got to look at the uh, sending off of Simon Davy, and I didn't think Simon Davy should have gone, and I don't think that lad should have gone. Well, referee, referees, yeah, they, you know, they make wrong decisions, they make right decisions. Um, you know, they've both gone in, gone in full bloody for the tackle, and the the ball. You know, the, the ball ricocheted away and they were both having a little kick at one another but I just think Simon David came off, off the worst and, you know, we've seen the, the end result. Right. Carlisle still on the attack. Ian Arnold. Ten ball, says the referee. Play on and the linesman has given it. No doubt about that. Not to my mind. No doubt about that at all. My, my f I'd have to disagree with you there. It looked like he chested it to me clearly. It looked, looked like he chested it clearly to me, yeah. But, well, I, I must... My, my first reaction was handball straight away. Andy disagrees, he thought he chested it, but unfortunately we haven't got the equipment for a slow-motion replay, but certainly it'd be very interesting to see the video after. Uh, it, I would have thought that Ian Dalziel would take it, but um, it looks as though... George Ogani has taken responsibility. Well, certainly, George Ogani, an opportunity to make it 2-1 to Carlisle United, and he missed it. The ball fired in and over the bar. Goal kick. Play. Right, Ian Arnold quickly in there, but uh, again robbed, and a hurry clearance up to Williams. Williams trying a first-time ball to uh, Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini robbed there. Nice play by the, uh, by the number three, Annan. But uh, that looked to be a push. Play on says the referee. And again, an elbow. Gabbiadini got the full force there. Uh, certainly an accidental, uh, an accidental clash. And on comes the, the trainer. And uh, certainly Gabbiadini looks, looks a bit shot there. 
I'm looking I'm, I'm looking at the looking at the monitor there certainly very dazed Williams Williams he's got uh, Dean Walling inside the crowd getting a little bit restless with that but uh, patient build up may be the order of the day Jason Prince with the ball on Ian Arnold looked to be pushed off there but certainly having a fair old tussle now can George Ogani have a battle there is Dean oops first touch from Dean Walling has let in the has let in Phil Clarkson Clarkson steaming down on goal and that's a bonus for crew it must be a bonus for crew and disappointment for Dean Walling and that was uh, Clarkson makes it uh, Carlisle United 1 crew 2 and really you, you just can't afford lapses unfortunate Andy but we can't afford to let things like that happen <laughs> Is Holden Holden against War? Oh, it's a good turn. That's a lovely turn, and this could be three-one, and it is. Oh, there's no argument with that one. And it looked to be Andy Lyons from the man that scored the third goal. Good turn inside the box, Andy. That's right. It's an excellent piece of finish, and it, I think whoever was marking him got a touch too close to him, and he's dropped his shoulder one way, rolled the other way. He finished very calmly with his left foot. Play this one to George Ogani. Ogani, a good turn and cross, but the ball put clear by Annan. Only to the edge of the box. Derek Walsh again. Dalziel's on his outside, but Derek's going to have a pop. Keep going, Derek. And then Derek Walsh again. Trying to catch space, and it's... Oh, and he's hit the post. Oh, and Ian Arnold, it must be. Oh, the post again. I don't believe it. Oh, I do not believe the catalogue of bad luck, but what a tremendous shot from Derek Walsh. Hit the post, Ian Arnold looked to be all over, odds on to make it 3-2, to set up a barnstorming finish. So, but Ian should have put it away. Well, oh, it's a good, good run forward here by Derek Walsh again. And the ball flicking on, it must be this time. Oh, it was Jason Prince this time, denied by, uh, by the goalkeeper. Uh, Thank you.